Hello everyone and welcome to this tour of our new and upcoming garden here at 34 Gee Hill Road in South Royalton, Vermont. I'm going to take you on a quick walking tour to show you what's been done here so far. This is going to be a bit of a time capsule so we can then show you what we've got after, uh, after the next stage of this is done. So here we have, here we have our garden. You can see this is a fenced in garden that we probably built the fence here, uh, oh gosh, probably almost eight, ten years ago. One of the very first things we did when we got this property is we built this huge fence that you see around the outside edge here. This is about a 3,000 square foot garden, so it's really, really huge. Uh, what you see over there is the entryway to the garden. That is the, the grape arbor and a wonderful wisteria bush that Ivan has planted on this wall right here. And then the garden fence comes all the way around, and you can see where the house is from here. So what we're looking at right now is the part of the fence that is going to go away. We're going to be taking this one out and this is going to become the new entryway, probably making a big archway uh, between these two posts. And so that this will be the view when you first walk into the garden. So what this used to be was a really uh, heavily sloped hill. It was originally a heavily sloped lawn and we actually then, uh, when we created the garden, we created um, uh, terraced, and ra uh, terraced beds and raised beds throughout here. Not really terraces, but raised beds throughout the garden. And it was great and it worked really well until they started to rot away. So we hired Greg Barr from uh, Barr Landscaping down the hill here in Bethel to do some work for us. And he has created uh, a series of raised um, terraces in this garden that I think are absolutely beautiful using these gigantic stones. So uh, I'm going to walk you through kind of from the bottom corner here so you can see some of the raised, some of the stonework that he's done. This is the, what was the low corner of the garden, is now a very, uh, very tall terrace that he's built uh, with some really large stones. You see some of these stones, they're really huge. So he started out with this huge stones and then he built this up probably almost three feet here uh, to create this, this large uh, bed right here. And then you can see he's made other terraces along the way. So there's a terrace here. There's a second terrace up there with stonework around it, and then he created uh, this this large central pathwork around this uh, around the central garden, which was the herb garden that was here before. That's the only thing that's still here from when we originally did this is that herb garden. So the goal is, you can see where we've been marking on the ground here, where we're going to have more paths done. So ideally, from this uh, gravel path that we have in the center, we'll be able to walk from there, a path to come through here over this stone, and then through here. And this will be the path that will go around this corner. And then you'll have a gravel path that goes through this outside edge of the garden all the way around, up through this outside edge, all the way up, and then up to the, this top raised bed, at which point we want this path to curve around here, through this upper raised bed, and to these stones, which kind of make a natural step from here to here. So this puts you back up in the center part of the garden. So this large raised bed, which is the, the huge one that he built, what we're going to do is, is make a path that goes right down the center of it to a little circular spot in the center, which will have maybe a plant and a planter here. And then this gives us a kind of a raised perspective to kind of look at the rest of the garden. It should be really pretty from here. So coming back up the path, this path will then go all the way back to the center part of the garden, which is the real focal point of the garden. Now if we go back down the path that we went on just before, what we want to do with this bed down here, which is really just kind of a interesting little kind of triangular section, our idea is we want to put a big tree in right there in the center and then be able to just kind of mulch this whole thing and put in like a park bench and maybe this make like a little reading look nook alcove down here <laughs> underneath the tree. So a really big tree, maybe a willow or something right here which should look really, really pretty. So, And back to the center part of the garden. And then the rest of these beds, uh, we can just kind of do whatever we want with. We've created some paths along here. This will be a path. And then the path will go into this lower bed right here and all the way back up uh, to the top there. One of the challenges is going to be for Greg when he comes here, I think on Monday, to figure out what to do with this gigantic rock that we just discovered. It's a, I don't know if it's attached to anything, but there's a gigantic rock right there. So our thought was that we could actually maybe just incorporate that into the path um, if he doesn't want to try to take it out. And then the same thing on the other side, a curved path that goes over this wall and just follows along the edge here. This bush right here probably should come out eventually. And the path will go all the way around, join back up with the fence, and then the path will go right along the fence line, uh, where there's the uh, <laughs> all the leaves here. <laughs> yep. 
and take us all the way back. And that leaves us with this top corner. Now the top corner here, eventually there's a post that has to go back in so that that gate can once again become an actual gate and that will become an entryway of the garden. The only other thing that's left if we do that is we do want to have one more wall built right here. You can see I've written wall on the, on the ground here. We want to have one more wall right there. And that little short wall would allow us to be able to cut this down on this side right here and make that one more terrace. So, so that's the garden. It's going to be really beautiful once we get that new gate in and once we start working on these beds. The idea is we want to start like contouring this by building up some of these beds into mounds so that we see, have a little bit of a, a little bit of a uh, contour through these different terraces. Um, and it will be a real good project for the next several years for us to see what we can do with this. So, and that's it. That's the tour of the garden. I'm going to do another one like this when we actually get this finished up with all the next paths and stuff so we can see how it really looks. But this was a, a bit of a time capsule just so we see what it looks like for now. So, all right. Thanks. Bye.